So you've got your RefWorks account set up. The first thing I would recommend is to create a folder to save your references into. This makes it easier to find references later on and distinguish from different chapters within your dissertation. Um, so I'm going to create a new folder. So under my folders at the left here is an option to add a folder. So I'm just going to call this folder Literature Review and I'm going to save it. So I now have a folder called Literature Review created within RefWorks. So I can now start putting some references into RefWorks. So the first thing I want to put in is a book I've been using from the library catalogue. So when you go to the full display, display pages on the catalogue, you can see there is an option there to export to RefWorks. So I'm going to click on that. And then we've set up a, a new RefWorks account. So if you go with the blue RefWorks, it will now tell us that it's importing the data from the library catalogue into RefWorks. So we simply click OK and it will be pulling through the information about that particular book. This moves into a last imported folder and then we move, when we move more stuff into here, these eventually will end up in an area called not in folder. So it's always good practice to put this into our folder straight away. So if we highlight it, assign to folder and I'm going to put this into my literature review folder. So now when I look at my folders, I have one item in literature review. Like I said, if you don't use the folder system, they'll end up in not in folder or last imported. So I've moved it straight into my literature review folder. So books are straightforward and ebooks. So you basically find them on the library catalogue, click on the export to RefWorks option, and that will put the reference into RefWorks for you. Let's imagine we're doing some journal searching now. So I've put a search into the EBSCO databases. I've got some results coming up. I've changed my page options to 50 to a page and this means I can put all items into a folder in one go. So if I click on the share button, I can click results 1 to 50. I can pick a folder, so say I had a, a folder called final papers, that will put all of my references into that folder. So it all depends how you've been organising your references, hopefully you've got some articles saved in a folder already, in which case sign into your EBSCO account, navigate to your folder and then if I pull up my final papers folder I've got the 50 articles that I've just put in there. This just makes it easy to export to RefWorks. You can export one at a time from each citation as you find them in your results page but it's easy to put them all into one folder and export en masse. So I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to click on the export button at the right hand side of the screen. At this point I can click direct export to RefWorks and click on save. Again I'm going to go with the blue version, the new version of RefWorks and this will now tell me that it's importing 50 references. I can click OK and again I can move these into my literature review folder. So if I select all of them and assign to folder. So now if I go to my literature review folder, I have my 51 references in there, my 50 articles from my EBSCO databases and my book from the library catalogue. At this point I can actually create a reference list immediately, so I can click on create bibliography and it will automatically default to Harvard Hull. If that doesn't appear, click on the drop down arrow and select the correct style. So within seconds I've got a reference list of 51 items. Okay. I would say check through this. Not every reference will be perfect, so if you see any errors, obviously you can tweak it accordingly, but this will be a lot, lot quicker than you manually putting all these in yourself. So for example here, the, the issue number is missing and there's no comma after the volume. So do check through it still, it's not perfect, but if you've got 50, 100 references, you can imagine this will save you a lot of time.